Boyfriend cheated with a hooker. I'd never thought I'd be posting in here. I'm an avid reader but I never thought this would be my life. I've been dating a, 46, for 3.5 years. I'm 34. Yes there is an age gap, I never thought it was an issue. I own my own home, I have a high paying job, multiple degrees, I'm not stupid. At least I thought I wasn't. I've been traveling for work a lot lately and this weekend I went out of town to see some friends and do some community stuff with my alma mater. I got back Sunday and everything was fine. Today he went to dinner with family and left his phone. I'm not proud of this but I snooped and found out he hired a hooker for the weekend, for a grand. I confronted him when he got home and he didn't have a good excuse except he's been working a lot, stressed, drunk and I was gone. The thing is, he's been avoiding sex with me for a year and he finally admitted that he doesn't find me attractive, I'm pretty but not physically his type. I'm overweight and losing weight is hard due to hormonal issues. He swears he feels horrible and doesn't want to split but I dk what to do. I am devastated. He's been my rock from day one since my divorce from my ex-husband. He's been my best friend and I'm just thrown for a loop. If it wasn't me in my shoes I'd be the first one to say gtfo. I keep thinking, why would he do this? He's not willing to see a therapist and I kicked him out for the night but I'm just lost. I thought he was the one I was going to end up with. You need to break up with him. He makes you feel bad about yourself and that one time was just the time you caught him. He cheated on you because he doesn't find you attractive. Let that sink in. You deserve so much better than that. You're a successful, intelligent woman. You don't need an asshole like that. Honestly, the fact that he says you're not his type is to my eyes worse than him hiring a sex worker. Take him at his word and let him find someone who is his type. This is a regular thing for him. Nobody calls a hooker cause, drunk. People who aren't a regular with sex worker don't even know how to find one. You shouldn't stay with someone like this just because he was there at a bad time for you. You haven't had sex in a year. You are just friends or he is using you because you make good money and have a place where he can live. Are you venting or are you looking for? I don't bother to expend energy on the why of people's behavior but just look at the behavior itself. Why would you want to be with someone who does not find you attractive and seek out others to have sex with? How would he change if he did see a therapist? Find you more attractive? Want to have sex with you? Decide not to cheat anymore? You said he does not want to split up but that is not for him to decide ya? Yeah? Look, the big thing to most of us, it's not that he had sex, it's not even that he had sex with a sex worker, but that he flat out blamed you for it, said he wasn't sexually attracted, so this is his compromise? That's not an arrangement I would keep. Am I baby or this super rude? So, my boyfriend does this all the time and I find it super rude and childish, he says I'm just being a snowflake. He texted me on his way home and today and said he was stopping at McDonald's and asked if I wanted anything. I said a mocha frappe would be nice. So he came home and all he has done is go on and on about how gross it is. I swear he said at least 10 times how disgusting it is. He asked my daughter, Jane, doesn't that look so gross? I'm not even drinking it now because it feels weird to eat, drink something after someone has spent 10 minutes going on about how gross it is. He does this with 90% of food I make, eat or order. Why? And is it as rude as I think it is or am I just being sensitive? Confront him about it. Do not act on it, just ask in a calm and collected voice and mind, why he acts this way. If he just repeats it's because it's disgusting, ask him what he hopes to achieve with this. If he understands how it makes you feel. If it's about your own cooked food. You are not being too sensitive. He's an asshole. I can't believe I didn't mention this. The worst thing is with my Ben and Jerry's. I buy a pint every so often and he'll eat three quarters of it and when I call him out on it he'll go on about how gross it is. Then why the hell are you eating my ice cream if it's so gross? This seems pretty rude, yeah. He does this with 90% of food I make, eat or order. Sounds like he's deliberately trying to give you an eating disorder. It's rude. But also, he sounds like a child. Which obviously isn't news to you. You're dating a child. Obviously you've learned to tolerate his insolence and decided to love him anyways. That's very rude. Has he ever offered an explanation as to why he thinks it's necessary or appropriate? It would be one thing if you weren't eating, drinking something completely mainstream, but your drink is enjoyed by millions of other people every day. I'd order one every day, and enjoy it to the fullest just to annoy him back. We have quite an age gap. I am 25 am dating f 36.
She looks extremely young for her age and has somewhat the same standpoint on children, life, marriage and we get along really well. Is it still wrong cause of the age difference? I think that's the only thing that bothers her. Edit. Thank you for all your comments. There are too many. I'll take a week maybe to go through. But I think the post is too short for you guys to judge. I'm sorry. She's just perfect and I kind of made her look bad. COP's post history. You feel neglected or ignored by her unless you ignore her or talk about other girls. Then she pays attention to you. She cuts off communication to you. You see each other every one two weeks. This is your first sexual relationship. You seem overly concerned that you might not be able to find anyone else rather than that you and your girlfriend are a good fit. It sounds like there's a cultural difference in play as well? You need additional experiences to know what you like. Hey if you feel like you're the same child, life, marriage wise then more power to you. You're not talking a college student and an adult or something, you're 25 and probably are beginning to already established your independent life now. No, age gaps aren't wrong as long as there is not an imbalance of power. It would be weird if you were 19 and she was 30 because it would likely be imbalanced. At 25 and 36 you're both adults. If you're equals and partners in the relationship, then it's a great relationship. My husband is eight and a half years younger than me and we are both happy. The age gap shouldn't be a problem at those ages. What is a problem is your relationship in particular as shown in your post history. She's emotionally manipulative, gives you the silent treatment, only shows you affection when she's feeling jealous. You feel obsessed and constantly chasing her? These are relationship red flags. I would research attachment styles since you seem to have anxious attachment issues and likely shouldn't be with someone this emotionally immature. You're both fully grown adults making consenting decisions. Nothing wrong with that. It isn't wrong. I just don't understand what a 36 years old would have in common with a 25 years old. How do I tell my fiancé I need him to stop making promises if he can't fulfill them? My fiancé and I have been together consistently for the last 6 years on and off 10 years. We have 3 boys together and I feel like he is constantly just running his mouth about stuff he can't back up or won't. Telling our kids he's gonna start paying them on debit card for chores, he's gonna take them to this castle, always seems to be making big promises that he doesn't always fulfill. He drove my car, our only vehicle at the time, to and from work for over two years and then we finally got him a truck and he is able to fix and do all the things on his, but has yet to do anything he said he would do for my car to be fixed. He says he's going to fix all the things and has not, he never even attempted to clean it out like he said he would. I've asked him to fix the spot in our fence that one of our dogs keeps getting out of, says he will, has not. Says every so often that he will help me with the rest of those dishes if I just leave them there just for them to be there the next day never done. I'm getting to a point of being let down all the time and I might even be resentful at this point honestly because I feel as though if he truly wanted to fulfill those statements or lighten my load he would write. I have horrible communication skills so when he asks me what's wrong I say nothing I'm fine because I have no idea how to approach a conversation about this without sounding like a total bitch and starting a fight. It sounds like this guy is a chronic liar and my guess is that no matter what you tell him or how you tell him that he won't be changing. I suspect this is an ingrained habit born out of his upbringing as a defensive mechanism. You did not know this from the 10 years you've have known him? What's wrong, when you make promises you don't keep I can't respect you. I'm disappointed, you let the family down again, my needs are not being met. I can't respect someone who can't either fix a hole in the fence or admit they will never fix the hole in the fence. Practice saying these things out loud. Practice not falling for it when he tries to throw a pity party. Oh I'm terrible, I'm the worst, why don't I, why don't you shut up and fix the fence instead of making everyone apologize to you because you feel bad about being a failure when instead you could just stop failing for these 4 minutes. Also, understand that you have learned more about who he is as a person and you don't like him and that's not a great place for a relationship. I've dated people like that in the past, one of their top love languages was words of affirmation. It's where I learned that words don't mean shit, actions mean everything. Acts of service is one of my love languages and I've learned to choose a partner that has the same type. Otherwise I'm consistently disappointed by my partner never following through on their promises. Your fiancé will never change, think it through before getting married. Do you really want to be dealing with the same issues in 20 years? Well you are a fiancé after 10 years so that says a lot. I think you should double check if you want to be tied to this guy legally. Fix your car. Fix the fence and do the dishes yourself. 
Don't rely on anything he says. If he promises the kid something then you need to be on him from the minute he makes the statement to make a plan because he is going to really affect your children with those broken promises. Right now you have to think less about him and more about your kids. Tell him, I can no longer depend on anything you say. Empty promises are worthless, actions mean everything. You make promises and never follow up on them so, naturally, I'm disappointed to know that you're an undependable man of no integrity. After 10 years of constant disappointment, I'm burned out. I can't imagine how disappointed our kids are over your empty promises. See what he has to say about that. I'm pretty sure I was married to this guy at some point. After 15 years of the lies and half-truths, I left. Not because of what it was doing to me, but of what it was doing to our son. Because of his father's actions, he started believing all people were untrustworthy and unreliable. I left to protect my son. Now that he's older, he understands that people need to be judged on their own merits. Do your kids a favor and leave before the damage can't be undone.